Welcome back, NBA fans. Look, let me get right into it. The Utah Jazz are doomed. So, Rudy Gobert signs a five-year, $206 million extension to stay with the Utah Jazz. First initial reaction is, what the hell is Utah doing? I I just don't think that the, the duo between Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert work. I don't think they've shown enough to just really just throw a max deal at Rudy Gobert like that. And I think the biggest problem with this deal for Utah is that Rudy Gobert is, don't get me wrong, arguably the best defender in the NBA, but he is an extremely one-dimensional NBA player. And I just don't think in the modern NBA, you're gonna win by maxing out a center that only plays defense. I mean, you can get <clears throat> a guy like Dwight Howard, who comes off of a bench to compliment a good scoring center in Joel Embiid, and you're paying him $2 million a year. I just don't think by giving a man $206 million, it's okay because that, that man can't score. <clears throat> that man can only play defense and he plays defense at an exceptionally high level. I'm not debating that. Rudy Gobert is really, really good, but there's no way that the Utah Jazz can financially support him and Donovan Mitchell all the while getting other complimentary pieces to win because you need a stretch five backup with Rudy Gobert as your starting four, uh, starting five, I'm sorry. And who do they have? They have uh, Derek Favors and then they drafted, uh, uh, oh, the guy from a new, a new, I can't say his name. Damn, what's that guy's name? Whatever, you get my point. You, you, you need a guy who can stretch the floor out. There's a reason why you see guys like Joel Embiid push himself to shoot threes. It's not because he's good at it, because he's not a great shooter, but you need to be able to at least stretch the floor for guys on your team. And I think Utah is in a terrible position because they're just gonna have spacing issues for a while. I don't think Rudy Gobert is worth a max deal. And for $206 million, there's no way in hell that man is worth that type of money. You need to be a, a full overall five tool talented player to, to earn that type of money and he only plays defense he does it at a great level but you're giving that man max money to just play defense there's a problem with that you're giving him 206 million dollars over five years and accepting the fact that you may not be good in other areas and in playoff basketball you need to do more than just play defense and to get that much money, you need to be able to have multiple tools to your game. Because if not, you're just gonna kill your team's progression. And that's exactly what's gonna happen in Utah. Utah, it seems like, are settling for a six, seven, eight seed for the next five years. And I don't understand it. I really don't. As a beak, as a bookie, that was the dude's name. Nice, nice job, Greg, nice. I just don't get it. I really don't. I think it's a terrible deal. I thought, Utah is in an unfortunate position though, because you can't just let him walk because he would have walked and got a, a max deal somewhere. But at the same time, it's like, you're really capping out and you're maxing out, you know, where you could be. I think you can be a lot better with a different center on that team. I think the defensive identity with Rudy Gobert is incredible. It's elite. It's one of the best defensive, you know, identities in the league but at the same time you I don't know how many times I have to say it you need to be able to have a multifaceted game in order to get that type of money he's I don't think he's ever scored over 15 16 points a game in a season he can't shoot he can't dribble he's not a post-up guy what are you paying him for are you valuing defense at 206 million dollars when you could probably get a guy who doesn't, you can literally put out Derek Favors, probably not, but you can get a good defensive five and spend that money elsewhere and build out your rotation, build depth, but instead you are putting depth on the back burner, you're putting scoring on the back burner, you're putting shooting to help Donovan Mitchell on the back burner to sign Rudy Gobert to a five-year, $206 million contract. That's not gonna push the needle. 
If it hasn't already, it's not going to in the future. If anything, you're just financially capping yourself. You're restraining yourself in order to, to, to get better. Utah's in a, in, in a situation. They're in a big problem because they're not better than Denver. They're not better than the Clippers, the Lakers, the Warriors. There's, there's an argument to be made that they're there with Phoenix. And Phoenix is an eight seed. So you're going to pay $206 million to stay at that area? You don't give max money to a guy who doesn't deserve it. I think the Sixers kind of learned that with Tobias Harris. I like Tobias Harris, but I don't think you give max money to a guy who doesn't deserve it. You can't be scared of what's going to be out there. If anything, Utah should have just traded Rudy Gobert. You could have gotten a lot for the guy. But instead, you restrain your entire team's progression by giving that man $206 million. It's not it, Utah. That's not it.